Yeah, in lecture number 29, uh, we are going to uh, discuss the uh, well hydraulics related to confined aquifer. Okay. So, in the previous lecture, uh, we derived equation of uh, water flow to a well in case of unconfined aquifers. So now, we focus on uh, uh, flow to well in confined aquifer. Here. So, uh, in case of confined aquifer, we have, we have seen in the previous uh, lecture. So, the, the first thing is the static water level. So, that is uh, it is also called piezometric surface because this is this is a confined aquifer. Okay. This is confined aquifer and uh, this is a pumping water level. Okay. So, this is a pumping water level this H w and R w is uh, the the uh, radius of the well and this is a drawdown curve and d h by d r. Okay. And uh, so, this is a static water level and r is uh, your radius of influence and b is the thickness of the aquifer and water is uh, flowing horizontally to the well screen and the well is complete fully penetrated to the aquifer. Okay. So, in this case, so how to uh, derive equation for finding out the, uh, the, the pumping rate in case of confined, confined I mean in case of artesian wells. Okay. So, let us let us see uh, the derivation which is similar to in case of unconfined aquifer. So, here the some of the assumptions are aquifer is homogeneous and isotropic having uniform thickness. So, uh, and then uh, uh, that means, the k is not varying uh, in the direction as well as with space okay. and the pump well penetrates entirely thickness of aquifer is fully penetrating well and flow well is in steady state of course, and top bottom the top and bottom of aquifer are bounded by bedrock or impervious layer because it is a confined aquifer. So, the top and bottom are impervious layers. Uh, the well is pumped at constant rate of course, similar to in, in case of unconfined aquifer. Aquifer is seemingly infinite in aerial extension. So, it is a aerial extent is it, is that, that means, so if you have this aquifer right. So, so, uh, the aquifer is seemingly infinite aerial ex extent. So, that means, it is going somewhere. So, here the infinite extent is the d h by d r which is equal to 0. So, uh, using Darcy's uh, law, so q is equal to k i into a. So, q is equal to k. So, i is d h by d r and here uh, the A area of cross section. So, this is the two impervious layers. So, this is a, a confined aquifer and this is a screen let us say. So, water is flowing to the uh, well horizontally and with this thickness. Okay. So, now you know the surface area of this is. So, 2 pi r into b. Okay. So, the surface area. So, because so, because the water is going uh, flowing through the surface, right? Water is flowing through the surface. So, the 2 pi r b. So, this is the area into k into i. So, um, so similar to uh, unconfined aquifer, we are going to integrate, I mean, solve this. So, let us see. So, d h, take the d h out. So, then q by 2 pi uh, b into k into dr by r and the boundary conditions here are when r equal to r w nearer to the well. So, h is equal to h w that is the pumping water level. When r equal to r the extreme point. So, if you take this the extreme right. So, the extreme point and r equal to r. So, then h is equal to capital H. Okay. So, same thing. So, with these boundary conditions put the boundary conditions in this equation right and finally, you get h minus h w which is equal q by k b right uh, ln of 
r by r w because this is d r by r. So, integration you get ln of r. Okay. So, then at limits r w into r you get ln r by r w. Okay, so, the next q is equal to so, uh, put the values uh, arrange the values and q is equal to 2 pi k b h minus h w into ln r by r w. Okay. So, this equation is called Jupic theme equation. So, here the uh, definition of each uh, variable is given q k uh, b thickness r radius of influence r w radius of well h w pumping water level. So, then uh, let us say uh, similar to in your unconfined aquifer, we are we can also uh, use the same equation to find out the uh, uh, aquifer properties like k and t. So, here we uh, going to put one observation well and second observation well at r 1 distance and r 2 distances at r 1 distance one observation well and r 2 distance second observation well. Okay. Similarly, so after a pumping, we observe uh, H1 this uh, water level here and H2 water level here, and knowing the H value, so you can find out the S1 which is equal to capital H minus H1. Similarly, S2 so that is a drawdown which is equal to capital H minus H2. Okay. So, from two observation points, you get two drawdown points. So, with the two drawdown points, uh, we are going to uh, get an equation for k as well as t. Okay. So, bring the equation back. So, that is uh, this is the original I mean the flow to confined uh, well in confined aquifer 2 pi k b into h minus h w or by l n r 2 by r 1. Okay. So, uh, where l n r 2 by r 1. So, for this uh, what happened? So, uh, two or from two wells, two wells you get uh, you know different uh, s 1, s 2 uh, values. So, so, if you have a number of you know observation wells, number of observation wells. So, you get you know different drawdown points. So, put the uh, uh, put the uh, distances right. So, from the center of well to different observation wells that is r 1, r 2, r 3, r 4. So, for every distance and the corresponding uh, you know the observation. So, the drawdown points right. So, radius the distance on x axis and drawdown on y axis and you get uh, a curve like this right. And for a one log cycle, so find out what is the uh, difference in drawdown okay, for one log cycle. So, here for one log cycle L and this is the log axis in a way, so this is the log axis. For one log cycle it is the value is 2.30. Okay. So, then substitute that here, so for one log cycle is 2.30 and delta s, so delta s is the the correspond the difference in uh, drawdown corresponding to the one log cycle. So, uh, so if you have this kind of curve, it is easier to find the value of uh, you know the t. Okay. So this is known, right? And this is known. Q is known, and you can estimate t. Okay. From this graph, from this graph, delta s is known and Q is known, and you can find out the t. So this is a graphically you can estimate and you can also uh, use equations to solve you know k and t. So, that is uh, that is similar to in case of uh, uh, confined aquifer uh, unconfined aquifer. Okay. So, let us say here an example uh, there is a 10 centimeter diameter well penetrates 10 meter uh, thick confined aquifer. So, the steady state drawdown were uh, found to be 2.5 and 0 0.05 meter at a distance of 10 meter and 40 meter respectively okay, from the center of the well. So, when the well was operated with a constant discharge rate of 125 liter per minute for 12 hours, 
So, using Jupiter theme equation calculate the transmissibility and hydraulic conductivity. So, here if you see this uh, I mean uh, example. So, the Q is given R 1 10 meter and R 2 40 meter there are two observation wells installed near to the main well and the corresponding drawdowns are 2.5 and 0 0.05. Okay. So, here if you see so the pumping water level uh, so this is the pumping water level let us say this is the pumping water level okay, this is going on. So, uh, at a distance so here one observation well there is another observation well. So, here one e, this is uh, 10 meter and let us say another observation well at 40 meter. So, drawdown drawdown at this point so this is 2.5 and at this point this is 0 0.05 that is what given. Okay. Mm. And so, let us solve then in that case what is the uh, value of hydraulic conductivity and transmissivity. So, um, so, this equation if you see the original equation. So, q is equal to right 2 pi t into s 1 minus s 2 divided by l n of r 2 by r 1. Okay. So, this is original equation. So, original equation also I mean if you see the uh, equation in, uh, to well in confined aquifer. So, that is 2 pi t uh, h minus h w divided by l n of r 2 by r 1. So, this was the equation. So, since h is um, sorry. Uh, so, since s 1 is equal to h minus h 1 let us say right s 2 is equal to h minus h 2. Okay. So, this can be written as uh, uh, I mean the same equation the same equation can be written like q is equal to 2 pi t into h 2 minus h 1 divided by l n of r 2 by r 1. Okay. Now, you substitute if you if you substitute this this value right uh, h 2. So, h 1 is equal to h 1 is equal to in this h minus s 1 h 2 is equal to h minus s 2. So, substitute this right h minus s 2 minus h minus h uh, s minus h 1 minus s 1. Okay. So, h h gets cancelled and you get s 1 minus s 2 divided by ln r 2 by r 1. Okay. So, that is the equation you see here right. So, t is equal to 0 point. So, substitute the values substitute the values is so the q is given r 2 r 1 is given and s 1 s 2 is given. So, finally, t is this right and if you can uh, multiply uh, generally k. Uh, so, k is equal to uh, sorry t is equal to k into b. So, we know uh, we know b right. So, multiply um, divided by so k is equal to t by b. Okay. So, transmissivity divided by the thickness you get the k value. Okay. So, there is another example. So, there is a confined aquifer has a source of recharge as shown in figure. So, this is the recharge right this is a confined aquifer because this is uh, impervious layer and this is also an impervious layer and this is the confined aquifer is all from here to here this confined aquifer and the recharge is taking place from this end. Okay. So, the hydraulic conductivity of the aquifer is 50 meter per day. Okay, the hydraulic conductivity is aquifer is 50 meter per day and the porosity is 0 0.2 that is 20 percent. The piezometric head in two wells so well 1 and well 2 uh, 1000 meter apart is 55 meter uh, and uh, 50 meter respectively. Okay. So, one is uh, the piezometric heads in two wells so this is 1000 meter so they have 
a thousand meter apart, right. So, in one well they found 55 meter and the other well the 50 meter respectively from the common datum, okay, from the common datum. Suppose, suppose this is the datum line, right. So, from here let us say um, 55 and here, um, sorry, here you found, sorry, this is the common datum, right. So, uh, so at this point this is 55, so at this point this is 50, so there is a difference of 5 meter here. And the common datum, the average thickness of the 30 meter, so 30 meter is the average thickness that is 30 meter, right. And then the average uh, width is 5 kilometer, so average width uh, the thickness is uh, 30 meter, okay and width is, so width is 5 kilometers. So, 5 kilometer means it is uh, I mean passing through the board you can say, so, okay. So, that is the thickness, thickness goes like this, right. And uh, so, the question is determine the rate of flow through aquifer and then the second determine the tra uh, time of travel from the head of the aquifer to point 4 kilometer downstream assuming no uh, depression or diffusion, okay. So, 4 kilometer downstream or what is the head of aquifer and then determine the rate of flow through the aquifer. So, these two points. So, one is rate of flow through the aquifer, right. So, this is Q and uh, second is the determine the time travel from head of the aquifer. So, let us say if this is the head of the aquifer. So, from here if you take 4 kilometer down right. So, how long it is going to take uh, from water to reach one the extreme to 4, kilo, four kilometer down ok. So, um, let us see here. So, area of cross section of the flow. So, 30 meter thickness and 5 kilometer is the width. So, so here the uh, aquifer so, this is 5 kilometer and this is the thickness 30 meter. So, water is entering through this, ok. So, and hydraulic gradient H1 minus H2 by L. So, that is 55, 50 by 1000, right. So, 1000 is the length. So, that will be this is the hydraulic gradient I. C so is equal 5 into 10 power minus 3 and the rate of flow Q which is Darcy's equation K i a. So, Q is equal to, so K is given 50 meter per day, right and uh, 15 into 10 power 4 and 5. So, this is area and this is uh, uh, hydraulic gradient. So, this is sorry, this is the area and this is the hydraulic gradient and finally, you get uh, the Q that is 37 500 meter cube per day, ok. And then we are going to use the Darcy's velocity, so that is Q by A. So, using Darcy's velocity, you get uh, 0.25 meter per day, and the CPS velocity, so which is so this is Darcy's velocity. So, but the it, I mean the, the aquifer has porosity, right? It has porosity, so that means the 0.2. Uh, point to that means 20 percent. So, 20 percent is really effective, so effective porosity. So, out of 100 percent only 20 percent is participating in flow process. So, we need to consider that. Uh, so, so then so the V uh, divided by 0.2, so you get 1.25 meter per day and time to travel 4 kilometer downstream. So, you knowing the velocity right, this is the CPS velocity and the distance you get 3200 days or 8.77 years. So, this, this shows clearly the velocity of flow in an aquifer is very slow. You can see, so for 4 kilometer, so it is taking 8.77 years, ok. So, and uh, there is another example like theme equation using theme equation. So, 1 meter uh, diameter of well, right, 
a well diameter is uh, 1 meter and the constant uh, flow rate 113 meter cube per hour and B is the thickness of aquifer, H naught is static water level and there are two observation points, H 1 is 38.2 meter. So, that is uh, located at R 1 uh, 15 meter and H 2 39.5 meter located at uh, uh, 50 meter. So, find head in the main uh, main pumping well and drawdown the corresponding drawdown. So, the question here is so here is the uh, ground surface right. So, there is a two impervious layer this is impervious layer 1 and impervious layer 2 and let us say this is the well right and this is a confined aquifer and it got a, a thickness of uh, 30 meter. So, let us say initially this is a static water level ok. So, the static water level so let us say this is a drawdown curve for that. There are two observation points, so observe, observation point here and observation point here ok this is O 1 O 2. So, um, this is located at this is located at 15 meter and the other one is located at 50 meter 5 0 50 meter and the corresponding uh, H 1 H 2. So, here from here to here. So, the H 1. So, this is uh, let us say H 1 and here this is H 2 and at the end this is H naught. Okay. And so, find out what is R uh, what is you know H W. So, that means, pumping water level at this point. So, what is H w the pumping water level and R w uh, so 1 meter diameter. So, R w is given. So, the here R w that is radius of well is uh, 1 meter divided by 2 like 0 0.5 meter ok 0 0.5 meter diameter of the well. So, question is what is H w and S w, S w is this right, this is S w or S w which is equal to H naught minus H w ok. Since H naught is given if you find out H w you can find S w ok right. So, so this is the equation for uh, uh, estimating transmissivity in uh, in case of confined aquifer, we are going to use this equation to find out uh, the first transmissivity. So, the T is equal to 113 right uh, divided by 2.1.8 minus 0.5 ln 50 by. So, this the transmissivity you get the transmissivity is uh, you get T is equal to 16.66. So, uh, then once you know T, now you use H is equal to H naught plus Q by 2 pi T ln R by R. This is the same equation. You see Q equal to 2 pi T into uh, H minus H naught divided by ln into R by capital R, right. So, Mm. Okay, so q into two pi t h minus h naught, right? Uh, yeah. So the, from this equation, so the same equation if you use, so h is equal to h naught plus q by two pi t ln into. So t is known. So then you can similarly. So then if h is equal to h w, so right? You can use either h one or h two. So h two plus this one. So from this equation you get H w is equal to 39.5 H 2 is given 113 by 2 pi 16.2 this one. Now, H w is equal to 34.5 meter right. So, knowing H w, H w is known now H naught is known. So,
So, S w is 40 minus 34.5 and you get S w. So, that is drawdown in pumping well. So, that is 5.5 meter. Okay. So, then next is the well loss. So, well loss uh, so basically if you see the drawdown curve. So, the drawdown curve so, what happens? So, drawdown is here, ending is here, but the pumping water level is showing here. Okay. So, this much uh, really it is a loss due to some uh, losses. So, the losses could be happened the two cases one is due to the turbulence in the well, like the water flow turbulence in the well, and also the resistance of flow in the aquifer system. Okay. So, the two are really uh, causing the head loss right or head loss or, or the water level variation in the pumping water level. So, so I suppose to I mean if there is no well loss, so I suppose to get my drawdown curve like this right like this, but in theoretically it is I mean the practically you will have the drawdown curve here and the pumping water level here. So, this difference is due to the well loss. Okay. So, let us see uh, how do we estimate the well loss in case of uh, aquifer. So, here in, in a pumping uh, artesian well right, uh, the total drawdown at the well S w can be considered to be made up of three parts. Okay. So, S w whatever you are, you are getting the the drawdown curve okay so that s w this is s w that right? is the pumping as well as this is the let's say h naught and this is h w okay so the h s w is equal to h naught minus s w okay so s w uh, Really, the S W is causing uh, due to the uh, two parts made up of three three parts. So one is head loss required to cause laminar porous uh, media uh, called formation or aquifer. So that is aquifer loss. So here the water is flowing through the uh, horizontally to the screen pipe. Okay, to the screen pipe. So during that process, there is a head loss. Okay. So, that also causing the uh, I mean that is causing the drawdown here and the other one is drop off piezometric head required to uh, sustain turbulent flow in the region nearer to the well where the Reynolds number may be larger than unity. Okay. So, here the other case is so because of the turbulence which is present inside the pumping well or, uh, or pumping well. So, the turbulence so that means the it is not laminar flow. So, once it is coming in the quiescent flow which is adding into the system yeah. and, and also because of the pumping because of the pumping. So, so here the water is flowing uh, laminar and coming very slowly right. At the same time the pumping really uh, doing aggressive uh, thing. So, that really creates the turbulence inside the uh, well. So, that definitely Reynolds number uh, definitely more than 1. So, that also causing the um, drawdown. Then head loss through the well screen. So, this is head loss through the well screen also another uh, thing. So, the S w l which is the, the laminar porous media flow or the aquifer due to aquifer okay, well loss due to aquifer. So, that is proportional to q and all and uh, and this one the turbulent flow or, or the flow through screen and the turbulence. So, that is the square root of uh, q. Okay. So, the well loss uh, can be expressed like this. So, the drawdown in the pumping well which is equal to c 1 into q c 2 into q square. So, c 1 into q this is uh, due to aquifer and c 2 q square this is uh, due to the well. Okay. 
So, C 1 Q 1 the formation the aquifer loss and C 2 Q square this is well loss ok. There are two things you need to consider. So, the drawdown uh, we are seeing in the pumping well is equal to the well loss due to aquifer and well loss due to well ok. Yeah, so, uh, so in this lecture we focused on uh, uh, flowing when the water flow to a uh, well installed in a confined aquifer. So, we derived an equation steady state equation for uh, estimating the flow rate uh, or flow to well in confined aquifer and also the, the procedure to find out the aquifer parameters or aquifer parameters like uh, um, transmissivity and hydraulic conductivity right uh, using you know uh, installing series of observation wells and then you get a graph uh, uh, drawing you know distances on uh, x axis and drawdowns on y axis and from the graph you can you know uh, use in the main equation and uh, find out the transmissivity and the corresponding hydraulic conductivity if you know the thickness of aquifer. So, then we uh, solve some problems and then uh, also we uh, solved I mean we uh, formulated an equation for uh, you know well loss. So, well loss is happening basically the uh, I mean three. So, one is uh, due to the head due to aquifer. Okay, so, the other one is head due to the, the screen openings and uh, third is the head due to uh, head caused due to turbulence in the well. So, combining these three, uh, three will definitely cause the head loss or drawdown in the uh, pumping well. Okay. So, thank you.